welcome back to Knitting with Metal. Um, I tried doing this yesterday, and it didn't work because uh, Facebook was saying something about something. I don't know. Uh, at least it worked. In any case, uh, we're doing it now, so. Hello, welcome back. Tonight we are going to be uh, working on this potion bottle. So we've got a bottle here, and uh, we're going to be putting chain mail around it so that it holds and we can still see through it uh, to see any color. So, uh, let's begin, of course, with saying hello to chat. Great. Uh, and of course, let us start inviting people. Just inviting people, seeing who's uh, who's on here, and of course, if you guys see me, definitely give me a share to uh, whatever you guys share to, because uh, you know, obviously, I only know so many people, and uh, it's definitely better when more people come on, especially new people. Uh, so, you guys know, know more people than me, as a whole, of course. <laughs> Great. So, of course, let us do the groups. Now, of course, I ended up, uh, of course, I, I tried doing this yesterday, as, as I said, and, um, Facebook was like, hey, we aren't allowing you to do a live because spam. I'm like, I only do two lives a week. How is this spam? So, that's, uh. That's Facebook for you. So on top of not notifying people uh, when I go live, like even people that are following me, not telling anyone that I'm going live, and then and then you're gonna block me from doing a live. That's that's a, a, a little irritating. So, today I actually ended up um, come on. I actually ended up uh, joining the uh, pilot Wi-Fi, like the premium Wi-Fi, so that this live could actually go live without any problems, because I'm, of course, having service problems, at least with this phone right now. So I might not even be able to, uh, to do anything here. I have the Wi-Fi connected to this phone. And this has Wi-Fi, but it's not picking up the pilot Wi-Fi here. 
So, So let us see here. Nope. It is still not. I'm fairly close to the building, but it, it, that shouldn't matter because, uh. Whatever. Let's continue trying. There we go. All right, copy, share. I don't know how many of these we're gonna be able to get through, um, depending on how the service is for this phone. Because this phone isn't, it, it's on the, um, just 4G regular, so. Try to get out to as many groups as I can here. And like I said, if you guys see me, just uh, give me a, uh, you know, share. That, that would help immensely. Because I have a feeling that the reason um, Facebook took me, like, didn't let me do a live is because of the fact that I started sharing my uh, TikTok post. So, they're looking at that and going, oh man, you, uh, you're, you're doing too much sharing or something. That's the only thing that I can think of because my content doesn't, like, do anything with, uh, with, like, terms of service or anything like that, so no one would be able to, like, I mean, they'd be able to, but it wouldn't hold. Um, but in any case, let us get started with the timer. Great. So, uh, hello and welcome back uh, to knitting with metal we are making a potion bottle holder we've got the base and we've got uh what one two nope one two and a half sides done so we need to get this last side done and um the fourth side done so let us Flip this camera and uh, get started. And of course, like I said, if uh, you're seeing me, please give me a share because apparently I'm doing it too much and uh, Facebook is blocking me from doing lives. So, just uh, heads up there, guys. So, we've got to uh, turn that and bring this down. Is that too heavy? It is. This tripod is a little bit finicky. 
um, especially with like what leg it's on. It's it does not like being. There we go. Wonderful. All right. So like I said, we've got the base here. That's the base, uh, and we've got two sides done. So we are working on the third side. And we've got a three. We've got a three and a two here. So we just need to connect all these and uh, this side will be done and then we can start on the next side or well, the last side. So this project is actually almost finished which I'm kind of super glad about because it's getting too long. I mean I know that there's a, you know a lot of chain mail projects are going to have that problem but um that's the problem with, uh, are we back? Okay. That is honestly very upsetting because I paid for Wi-Fi. There should be no problems like this. Let me restart the time because screw that noise. All right. Um, welcome back. I'm really hoping that's not going to be an issue today. I paid for the outside, you know, primary, you know, premier freaking outside Wi Fi. There should be no issues. All right, so we've got this corner connected now. So that is a corner. So we're going to take this and this and put them together here. That's going to be the inside corner just to make sure that it keeps its shape. Um, like I was saying before, uh, I was trying to do this yesterday. I had all the motivation to do it yesterday. I was nice and caffeined up and uh, took Facebook an hour before it even let me do a live. So um, that's an issue, but... Hopefully it's resolved now, and hopefully uh, that doesn't keep happening, because that's going to screw up on my schedule, and uh, I already have a lot to do. That's why I put the, the, the feeling thing as uh, anxious. I do not like going in thinking oh yeah i'm gonna get gonna get a live done nice and early on friday on uh, monday and then not be able to do it it's irritating all right so now we got this corner this corner I'm trying to let it settle out so that I can tell where it wants to sit so that I don't mess it up. And then this is the last piece going in here. Like I said, I reset the time because I'm not, uh, that, that's, that's, that's rude to you guys. I don't want to um, cut your guys' time short just because of uh, connection issues. Um, but hopefully you all are doing well. Um, this week is actually hopefully going to be a short week for me. I actually need to go 
in and get my uh, second vaccine shot on Friday. Um, it's uh, really hard for me to uh, do appointments like that because uh, my job is unpredictable. Like, I, I put in the request, right, to, to take off for that day. I need that day off because of, you know, medical reasons. Because that's what it is. It's a medical reason. Now, normal jobs, I mean, not, not really normal jobs, but let's just, let's just say that your job actually allowed that without freaking freaking out. Um, normal jobs... would go, okay, you need this day off, fine. My job goes, okay, you need that day off, fine. And then when they go to go schedule me, they go, oh yeah, you're going to Illinois. And I'm like, that's not happening. I need this day off. And then they have to scramble, and then I feel like a dick. I know I shouldn't, but that doesn't stop me from doing it. But how's everyone's day going? Hopefully it's going well. Um, I'm having a pretty good day, pretty short day. Uh, So, I'm going to be able to uh, do this live, and then also uh, get some recording done. I'm going to be doing a uh, short episode uh, next week on my Sunday episode. Um, it's going to be a short episode. It's going to be about... Um, it's going to be about... Uh, doing uh, a stud earring so we're going to be making a stud earring from scratch next week um, and then I've got a few other things I'm going to be doing a few short projects coming up just to warm you guys up uh, for a fairly long and big project that I've researched um, I've researched going in here, and, uh, honestly, I have yet to find anything on this item, so I think, now, I'm gonna preface this with, um, with, you know, you know, I think, um, that I'm the only one that has done this so far but once it comes out I'll, I'll let you guys know and maybe maybe someone else uh, has done this type of it's gonna be a ring but um, what happened to this what is this But, um, in any case, it is, uh, like I said, it's going to be a ring, uh, and we'll, I'll, once I actually put it out, because I don't want anyone to, um, because like I said, it's, it's, as far as I know, it is one of a kind, no one's done this yet, so I kind of want to jump on that, and, uh, 
and be the first to kind of do this design. Okay, come on. Um, but once I do, I'll let you guys know. But it's going to be a pretty long project. So I think I'm going to be doing a few short, um, easy projects um, in, in the coming weeks. And then uh, just to just to get this project settled out I want to make sure that I got all my measurements correct and and all that type of stuff I actually need to get a uh, stone for it as well and I'm I'm trying to get in contact with a few people for that so it's gonna be a stone setting ring there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, technical things that's going into this ring, so that's why I'm kind of like keeping it close to my chest type thing. Um, but I'm really excited to do it because, like I said, I don't. I looked on Google. I searched, you know, that type of ring. And I've searched what I'm going to be doing with it, and I can't find anything online. Alright, so that's that done. So this is the third side. We've got three sides here. Each of them are are a circle-ish type shape so now we just need a uh, a fourth one and we will be able to start uh, getting this set up so let's uh let's start making uh singles but yeah um hopefully you all are doing good um if you want uh let me know and and this is for everyone. This isn't just for the live people. This is also for people um, watching this post when I when I uh, put this on on YouTube. Um, what do you guys What do you guys like from my content? Um, I'm just trying to figure that out so that I can kind of align with you guys and and you know keep doing what you guys like um and i'm just asking just to like figure out uh figure out what you guys like so that i can just keep doing it um and and try to cut out anything that i am doing that you guys don't like you know, so if you guys don't like something, let me know. Um, but I'm just trying to figure figure out how to kind of make my content uh, better and. Uh, just kind of need a little bit of feedback so if you're in the live welcome and uh, live chat is absolutely open um, and if you're watching this on my channel Pendragon's Twisted Metals on YouTube then uh, welcome as well and uh, hit up the comments I'm just trying to get a sense for what you guys are enjoying so that I can do more of it. Cause I'm looking in my in my stuff and I know that uh I know that like the the statistics and all that stuff is kind of boring, so sorry, but um you know that's just that's a part of being a content creator. Um, 
but you know, I'm looking at my stuff and you know, I'm getting a decent amount of views, but like a minute and a half of actual watching and then, you know, just trying to figure out what you guys are liking so that uh, you guys will watch longer. Because apparently that's that's the uh, the thing with YouTube. They want you you guys to be watching longer. But and I mean, if I uh, if I'm not making good content, then I'm not making good content. You know, that's just uh, that's just what it is. But I need you guys to tell me that. Because I can get all the hearts and, and thumbs up in the world. Um, that's not going to make anyone watch, you know? So, uh, right now we're making singlets. Um, we're trying to make another circle like this. This is the last circle that we're making for our potion bottle holder. So we're just going to take this one and add four to it. Close it off. And grab another open one. Come on, get off. There we go. Uh, grabbing another open one, uh, going through all four of those rings again to make sure that we have um, all all the rings in this set are going to be sets of two. So we want to make sure that we keep that. So now we have a two 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 pattern here, and that's literally just. Two rings, two rings, and two rings. And we're actually going to be putting on another two rings. So we're putting in an open. And then two rings. Close that off. And then, of course, make it symmetrical by putting another open through the two. And, of course, if you are just joining in now, welcome. This is uh, Knitting with Metal. We do uh, chain mail odd projects. Um, just to uh, just have some fun here. Um, you know, I also do like some chain work on here, uh, pulled jewelry, stuff like that. Odd things that take a fair amount of time. So, uh, like chain mail takes a fair amount of time. Uh, doing a Viking knit that takes an exorbitant amount of time. I was actually surprised how long that takes. I got a bit faster at it at least, but still it takes it takes a fair amount of uh of time. So we're making a another 222 two, two. set. So that's going to go on one side, and then we're going to make another one to go on the other. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you're doing well. It's, uh, what, Tuesday? So, tomorrow's Wednesday at the very least. That's, uh...
that's at least good middle of the week only a few more days till uh, till the weekend hello Joanne is it Joanne or John no yeah Joanne hello What I really want to know is, um, how, like, do you guys wave at me? Because the waves come in randomly, it seems. So, we just need to do a few more singlets. Um, I'm not sure if that's what they're called. That's just what I've been calling them. singlet I know like in like uh, uh, um, costuming a singlet is something completely different like in the theater it's it's something completely different um but I kind of like calling these singlets because they, they're singles they're singles and uh you know, if, if you're talking, you know, two and two patterns, then uh, there should be a word for a single closed ring. And I think it should be singlet. Luckily, we haven't had any you-know-whats lately, so... I don't want to jinx it, so I'm not saying it. But. But yeah, um, I'm just, uh, I do a lot of jewelry work. Um, of course, uh, chain mail work on here uh sometimes it crosses over like uh i made a, a a torch hanger because uh my propane torch for my uh jewelry work kept falling over so we ended up taking a few weeks and making a uh a hanger for my torch so it, it holds my torch and um, and make sure that it's hanging so that it doesn't fall over while I'm using it. Uh, Rob and Lynn, uh, do you saw, uh, cut the jump rings? These ones, I did not. These ones came pre-cut. I actually got these, uh, from my uncle. Um, he does a lot of metalworking and, uh, and and um chainmail stuff him him and his wife i think they're married um but yeah i got that i got these from them uh they came pre-cut these are actually steel so i'm so glad that they came pre-cut because i can i don't think i have the um stamina or fortitude to cut these myself um but i do actually once i get um once i get the aluminum ones that i'm waiting for in um i'm waiting for them to to restock basically i'm gonna be making my own rings and cutting them so these ones, no, I did not cut, but I uh, do cut my own rings when I have a chance to. And yeah, I normally do cut them with, with a saw. I have done a Dremel, but it um, if I make a mistake, 
um, if I make a mistake, then it, it goes badly. Uh, love it loud. Steel sucks to cut. Yes, yes, it does. It, it sucks to bend. It sucks to cut. Um, I mean, I've gotten used to it, but that's actually why, um, come on, focus. You can focus at any time. Thank you. Um, that's actually why I ended up getting, uh, all of these rings is because they got the rings, but, uh, uh I guess it was like the wrong thickness or something, something was off about them and it made them impossible for them to, uh, bend. So, well, not impossible, just, just very hard and it's very tedious, not going to lie, but. Um, I've gotten a bit used to it. Um, but that's, that's why I ended up getting these because they, they just, they weren't expecting how hard they were going to be, I guess. Um, but I'm basically running through my supply of these. I might get more depending uh honestly i like the aluminum a lot better because i can do colors with that um i like to get the anodized aluminum and uh and get uh get a bunch of different colors and do uh uh different colored chain jewelries so i definitely uh I might get steel again if I'm doing like utilitarian things like like my um candle holder that I made or like um like the torch holder I'd get a stronger steel. I just happen to see this video in my feed. What is it that I'm making? Uh we are making a potion bottle holder. So, um, I'm not sure how many episodes we're on. It's a pretty decent amount, though. But I got this bottle. My wife found it. It's, uh, it's pretty cool looking. Um, and we are making a chainmail holder for it. So that, uh, you can put it on a belt or a sash. We already got the base done. That's the base, and we've got three of the four sides done. So, this is one of the sides, and uh, that's what we're doing. This is actually the last side we're working on here. That, that, and there. Now we just need one more to two and two section but yeah um i am i am just waiting on on uh them to restock with the colors that i want unfortunately you know with everything that's been happening uh you know that type of stuff has been a bit slow and uh it seems like whenever I get an uh, announcement that hey we've restocked they've they've lost stock in something else so a little frustrating and I don't want to I definitely don't want to uh, you know do two shipments but yeah welcome um, I'm actually super glad that I just came up randomly on your feed because uh, uh, Facebook has been just not very good with um getting my videos out there i've been having to do it myself so welcome so again this is a two and two set uh so we just did the four uh, with the one open and then we're going to add another one to 
make sure that we keep a nice even pattern. There we go. All right, so I've been doing three, two, so starting off with a three, then doing two, two, three, three, and then another two. And uh, that makes the circle that we've been using. So uh, we'll have to uh, set that up and actually make that. I'll have to see if I can add you somehow. I'm a silversmith slash weaver. Um, well, uh, seeing how my 30 minutes is actually coming up, um, you can follow me on here if you'd like, uh, but also you can find me on uh, YouTube at Pendragon's Twisted Metals. I've got uh, three years worth of content on there uh, in jewelry, silversmithing, and of course uh, the chain mail. So you can find me on there. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, our time is up. Uh, so uh, we've got the last circle just needing to be put together. And we've got another three circles here and the base so we'll be um we'll be putting this together hopefully in the next episode which will be in about two days um but i hope that you all enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button and if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and the bell so then you get notified whenever I put out a video. I try to do three videos a week, two of these uh, Knitting with Metals lives, and then of course my Pendragon's Twisted Metals jewelry channel. And that is on uh, Sunday. So I hope that I'll see you in the next episode, and have a wonderful evening.